the water's fine, when you've got thousands of fish for miles popping up dead, dead animals, people saying they're nauseous, they can't breathe, their eyes are burning. And I can't help but wonder, to Sean's point, if this was happening in Ukraine, would the left care more? Would the media care more instead of a Trump county? Is that why this has been ignored for so long by most of the media? And, and beyond that, I, I wonder, is something bigger at play here? There just seems to be too many things going on in the country. You're talking about multiple flying objects. We're talking about multiple train derailments. We're talking about the FAA for the first time since 9-11 grounding all planes. We're talking about power outages going out on Capitol Hill. Social media went down recently. Airports with power outages. So I, I don't know. It just seems to be a lot of things co coinciding at the exact same time for it to just be And a that's coincidence. the thing. So for anybody who would argue, oh, that's conspiracy thinking, talking, when you are so silent with the facts and people are living lives with doubt and with pain and with death now of their lifestyle, what do you think they're going to do? What do you think they're going to think? If you aren't going to help them, they're suffering. They're going to think nefarious things about the people who refuse to help. Well, and how could we not help these people? Right. I, I, well, this is, a, this is a, a, a national emergency. I mean, this is a crisis happening in America. And how wide is this going to spread? I mean, we're not just talking about East Palestine. We're, we're talking about, you know, who knows? how long this is going to go on. Oh. Uh, hi, uh, what is it? Uh, vinyl chloride causes cancer alone. Yes, it does. And, and then you're talking about all these other things. The only Joe reason Biden that we know about all the chemicals. not going to forget about the, the he's, not, he's, he's, he's going to remember the forgotten men and women. These are forgotten men and women. Joe Great Biden, point. stand up now and, and, and remember them like you said he would at the State of the Union. Yeah. There you go. The only reason we know about additional chemicals on that train, there are three additional chemicals that were revealed, was a letter from the EPA to Norfolk Southern that came out at the end of last week. Buttigieg has really hit a new low here. You mentioned this was February the 3rd. Yeah. And the fact that it took Elon Omar going on Twitter and shining a light on how embarrassing he is and really plumbing new depths of heartlessness by ignoring what is a toxic waste site with farm animals dying, thousands of fish dying in creeks, questions about whether the Ohio River is now contaminated. And he couldn't pick up his phone and maybe record a video for the people of East Palestine, Ohio, from empathy to antipathy. Yeah. It's disgraceful. Mm. Look, uh, Sean, I said this last hour, this administration has about as much transparency as Elmer's glue that's dried. Mm. I mean, it is it's opaque. Well, yes, so first off, to Dagan's point, fish are dying, animals are dying, and the government comes in and says it's safe to move back. Is the reason is that in East Palestine, 70% of them voted for Donald Trump, only 30% voted for Joe Biden. Is it politics at play here? And by the way, Harris, I thought this was an administration, above all else, yes, they care about ESG, yes, they care about race, but more than anything, they care about the environment. This is an environmental well, disaster, and they, they're, they, they're nowhere to be found. And, and, and we had this in our show, The Bottom Line, yesterday. Liz Peek made the point. Is it because they have denigrated pipelines and have tried to push people to go to rail and trucks? And here you have a rail disaster that's a massive disaster, and maybe that says, hey, let's go back to pipelines.